What is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel! So, did EA screw up with Need for Speed Heat? Yes or no? Well, we're gonna find out today! I'm super hyped to talk about this, and if you are too, be sure to let me know down in the comments! But, as always, if you're new to the channel, be sure to go over here, hit that subscribe button, you won't regret it! And I appreciate all my subscribers, everybody leaves comments down below, you guys are amazing! And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it. I appreciate it. Just enjoy the video. <laughs> So let me start off by saying, this is just my first thoughts and impressions. Now, I've got about 20 hours or so into the game, and I just want to get my thoughts of it out to you guys, and let you know what I think about it so far. Back in the day, my three favorite games were Most Wanted, Carbon, and the Underground series. They were so awesome, I loved every second of them. I liked how you customize all the different cars. Now don't get me wrong, the new Need for Speed games are all fun in their own way, and yeah, they're all different. Some of them have amazing graphics, and you know each individual one is good in its own way. But I think you guys can agree that those classics from back in the day were some of the best ones ever freaking made. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of them. Which Need for Speed is your guys' favorites? Now I want to start off with the cars because back in the day, yes, you know most wanted and all those other games were awesome and you know so much fun. But you know you don't realize, but back then they maybe had like 30 cars, right? Need for Speed Heat came out last year and it's got almost 200 freaking cars that you can fully customize. All the wheels, it's got like freaking 150 different wheels right out of the box. You know, all different kinds of body kits, wings, so many awesome things you can customize. Tire smoke, it goes on and on, the tent, and it's just so awesome that they finally made a Need for Speed game that is almost worthy of the greatest of the past. And in some areas, it's even better, you know what I mean? The graphics, of course, because now it's in 4K, it looks so awesome, and I just can't get over how amazing everything looks. What did you guys think of the graphics? Have you got to play Need for Speed Heat yet? Let me know down in the comments if you have or haven't. The music from back in the day in the old games was something else, you know what I mean? That one rider song, I can't remember what it's called. I remember hearing that song a lot. So how was the music in Need for Speed Heat? It's not too bad, you know what I mean? It's got a good flow of different songs, like rap songs, you know, different songs or whatever that are actually popular today. So the songs, for me at least, are not that boring, you know what I mean? Because it's kind of what I listen to anyways. And, you know, it's not too bad. And if you don't like the music and stuff, you can always turn it off. <laughs> you know what I mean? And play some other music. Now, the story, guys. Oh my gosh. I am so glad that they finally have done a good story. The story even like, some parts, it's, you know, so far it's made me laugh. And it's just the beginning, there's some parts where you're like, what the heck? And I think one of the best parts of the story is the cops. And they play a big role in this game, because they're all dicks, and you know, all it shows them all on the TV and stuff, and like we get arrested and whatnot. Yeah, it's so awesome, and I'm enjoying the story so much, I never thought you know, I would enjoy a Need for Speed story so much because that's one of the areas where, you know, Need for Speed has kind of been lacking in the past is the story. And they've done such a good job of, you know, doing this awesome street story. And I'm only about 20 hours into it, so I don't know how it ends, but I'm excited to see where it goes. In real life, I have an 89 240SX that I swapped in a GTR engine, right, straight six turbocharged. So of course I had to get the 180, and you know I had to trick it out with the Rocket Bunny kit, some awesome wheels, and you know even the Rocket Bunny wing. I got a freaking like a pearlescent iridescent or something like that uh, paint job and stuff on it. It looks so beautiful, and that's another thing is all the different finishes and stuff of paint. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so many different ones to choose from, and if you're playing in 4K max settings, it is breathtaking just how far they've come with the graphics. And that's another thing too, is your guy that you create, right? And you can choose from all these different characters is actually in the vehicle. It shows them driving around. It looks so amazing. And if you know you have a partner or something riding around with you, it shows him in the car too. And the graphics are coming so freaking far. And that's one of my favorite things about gaming, guys. Is it's it better and better every freaking year. What do you guys think about it? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. 
So I have my Nissan, right? And then I also have a 2005, really clean, just hit 100,000 miles, Acura RSX. Which if you guys don't know, it's as close to, you know, a Type R Tegra from Japan as you can get here in the US where I'm at. So, it's a lot of fun. I daily it. It's five speed and it's so good at handling. You know, I've took some corners that were like 40 you know, miles an hour at about 100 or so or more. So, it is so freaking awesome. And, you know, I'm a big import guy, but, you know, I like, I like everything. And then I also have a 2004 Nissan Maxima, right? It's got the 350Z engine in it. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's basically like a four-door 350Z. And it is definitely a fun car too, but it's more luxury. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if you guys have any cool cars too. So how is the actual race scene? That's one of the biggest parts of any racing game. Well, I think they did a good job, okay? Because this feels so amazing. Even with a controller, it feels so buttery smooth. I played on medium difficulty because that's just where I started at. I think it feels just about the right amount of difficulty, you know, at least for me. And of course, I turn off traction control and all the other kind of stuff. I do really like how the areas light up that you're supposed to go under. They're like the goals or whatever. I forgot what the name of them would be, but you have to go through them, you know what I mean? In order to get through the actual race itself and you can't miss them. Checkpoints. Yeah. Checkpoints look awesome. And I really like how, you know, they got the lights and stuff that go around the corners and kind of show you where the boundaries and stuff are, kind of where you want to stay. And the drifting in this game. Oh my gosh. If you like drifting, it is definitely, definitely faster. Be sure that you have gas drifting on. It's basically where, you know, you're turning and you let go of the gas and then you slam on the gas again and you initiate your drift. Because what I did stupidly is I changed it in the settings because you can live tune the car when you're just sitting there, you know, out in the world and change all your settings and stuff, right? Well, I took off, you know, the gas pedal drift and I had it on brake. And that was a problem at the beginning because when I was come to corners and I'd want to drift around them, you have to hit the brake and that slows you down. And in any racing game, you don't want to slow down. <laughs> you want to take those corners as fast as you can, you know, while doing a good line. What I like to do is literally I'll drift every single freaking corner and because all that, you don't even have to, you know, you just let go of the gas for a second and then you just you get back on it. It is so much faster to try to slow down and go around it, man. I just freaking let go of the gas, step on the gas again, kick out my drift, go around the corner. So freaking crazy, especially when you're going freaking like 100, you know, 50 miles an hour and you're coming to a corner that's like this <laughs> and you just, you don't even do no break at all. You just drift around that sucker. Man, drifting is so much fun. But that's why I have an S chassis in real life, you know what I mean? They also have a night and day system. So the way it works is during the day, you can do day races to earn all kinds of different cash, right? But the only way to actually unlock parts and stuff, right? You have to do the night mode where you know you could do stuff to cops or you could do like night races and stuff doing the night stuff gives you rep points right and you need the rep in order to unlock certain things at certain rep levels but you need cash to buy all the items so it kind of goes back and forth like you have to do both you know what i mean you gotta do some night stuff and you gotta do some day stuff but if you get caught okay if you get caught you lose all of your cash so you want to be careful <laughs> And uh, just make sure you try to get rid of all your cash. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to come out and do my first impression of this game. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the video. Be sure to leave a like on it if you enjoyed it. I don't know how I missed this game last year because I like all kinds of different racing games. And I think at one point, I was looking forward to it. But I think what happened with the one before it, not this one, I don't remember what it was called. But you could drift the stuff in it and, you know, had the S chassis and all that kind of stuff but it wasn't that good so I've been kind of let down by Need for Speed here lately and I'm so glad I gave this one a chance because it's so awesome and in a lot of ways it's even better than the past games guys so give it a chance Need for Speed Heat is freaking amazing I can't wait to get to the higher levels so I can get all the other freaking awesome exotic cars like the GTRs, the Lamborghinis, this is even Ferraris, all kinds of insane stuff but you gotta be like you know level freaking almost 50 and stuff but that's okay. That's part of the game because in the new speed game, you know what I mean? You build up your cash flow. You know, you buy a few cars. You sell what you don't want. You know what I mean? Then you buy another car and you just work your way up solely to those exotics and all that other cool stuff. The way in the SX is one of my favorite cars. And, you know, that's another thing they did is you can do engine swaps and there's so many other ways to customize your cars. It's so awesome. 
And no, I just want to get off work today and come back and start playing it. That's what I'm going to try to do. <laughs> I have tons of other videos on the channel that I made for you guys with my heart and soul. Go check my backlog. I'm sure there's one of them you enjoy. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. I promise you, I do my best to respond to it because that's one of the areas where I'm different. Yeah, when I get a little bit bigger, it's going to be harder to respond to you know, everybody's comments. But I'm different than a regular YouTuber because I want to talk you know, to all my viewers, all my subscribers. And you know, I'll have conversations with you guys. If you go back and look at my other videos where you know I went and talked to subscribers and stuff, that's what I'm about. You know what I mean? That's what I want this channel to be about. Just you know, talking about all the cool games, you know, seeing what you guys like and what you're looking forward to, and just enjoying games for what they are, guys. As video games, as another, you know, form of entertainment to escape this freaking life, you know what I mean? Because that's what they are. They're just an escape sometimes, and they're such a good and sweet escape. And every year, they get better and better. I'm so excited, you know what I mean, to just be able to enjoy all these freaking games that I have. Let me know down in the comments what games you guys are playing right now, what you're looking forward to, if you enjoyed this video, if you somehow missed Need for Speed Heat. But just know, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. This channel is not going anywhere, and it gets bigger and bigger every freaking day. I hope you enjoyed the video, though, and I'll see you on the next one.